Hello everyone, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedantu. We are presenting solutions for J Advanced 2020 Paper 2. Here in this video, uh, the question is related to functional equation and differentiability is being discussed in this question. Let's have a look at the problem. It's a good level problem. Let f r to r and g r to r be functions satisfying f of x plus y is equal to f x plus f y plus fx into fy and g is uh, the function such that fx equal to x into gx for all x belongs to r real numbers if limit of gx when x tends to 0 is 1 then which of the following statements is r true so one or more option can be correct here right looking at the option option a f is differentiable at every x belongs to r Option B, if G0 is 1, then G is differentiable at every x belongs to R. Option C, the derivative f dash 1 is equal to 1. Option D, the derivative f dash 0 is equal to 1. So basically, we need to check the differentiability of f and g. Right? Uh, it is nowhere given that function is, any of these function is differentiable or continuous. Yeah, so we cannot go for direct differentiating the given relation or assuming the function to be exponential or something so we need to go for the first principle basic idea right let's uh, check another page so I'm uh, rearranging the given uh, relation in the manner like f of x plus y I can write minus fx is equal to um, if I take fy common, then 1 plus fx from the remaining two terms into fy. And I am going to divide this by y. Why I am doing this? Because I am in this way will get, I, I mean, uh, going to make, putting limit y tending to 0. So in the left hand side, I have made f dash x which was needed to be checked in the right limit is on y so i can take 1 plus fx common and limit fy upon y y tending to 0 and if you look carefully at the problem limit of gx is 1 and gx is actually fx upon x so i can write it as 1 plus fx limit y tending to 0 g y and it is 1 so it is finally 1 plus f x right so from here directly we can say that f dash x is 1 plus f x for all x belongs to r main and f is defined everywhere so f dash x is defined everywhere f is differentiable it means everywhere so option A must be correct. Uh, going for little integration at this step, we'll get to know fx also. But in order to uh, hit the option A, check the option A, it is sufficient to say that f is differentiable everywhere. And one more thing, if you put uh, 0 over here, then f0 will come to be 0 because 0 into g0 g0 is something which is not known but is defined everywhere as g is defined everywhere g0 must be something finite so f0 we can say directly is 0 and uh, then f dash 0 would be 1 plus f0 that is 1 so if you uh, look at the option option a is correct option D is also correct but we need to check option B and C also so I mean uh, going for little integration over here we can say if you take 1 plus fx uh, in the denominator of left hand side and integrating it you can easily get that ln of 1 plus fx is equal to um, x plus c and from here 
f x would be something k e raised power x minus 1. But as f 0 is 0, right, um, if, if you put x equal to 0 over here and f 0 is 0, so we can say that f x has to be I mean in that way we got k as 1 so e ka power x minus 1 because from here you will get k is equal to 1 so finally we got f x as e raised power x minus 1 which is again easily seen to be differentiable now coming to and we can verify the option c from here that f dash uh, 1 would be e but the in the option it was given f dash 1 is equal to 1 so option c is not correct now coming to the option b about uh, g function g0 if g0 is 1 means g0 is uh, not given in the original paragraph of the question uh, for option B only G0 is we can use this information that G0 is 1 then G is differentiable at every x belongs to R you need to check you can say that G x is f x by x whenever x is not 0 that is uh, obviously e ka power x minus 1 by x whenever x is not 0 but in the this option option number b g0 is given to be 1 so i can write it is 1 when x is 0 now going for the derivative of g g dash x can be written as from the first principle again limit uh, okay gx is differentiable everywhere it is very well i mean clear from the function e raised power x minus 1 upon x the only doubtful point is we should check the differentiability at 0 so we need to check differentiability only at x equal to 0 clearly it is differentiable everywhere so the only doubtful point is x equal to 0 other than this point the function gx is differentiable everywhere is very clear and uh, checking differentiality at 0 the formula for g dash 0 is limit of gx minus g0 upon x when x tends to 0 and as gx is e raised power x minus 1 upon x whenever x is not 0 and g0 is 1 so I'm writing 1 here over here by x and finding this limit which is I mean looking an easy limit to solve here we uh, can go for expansion of e raised power x or for the L'Hopital rule I'm going for L'Hopital here differentiating numerator and denominator because it was 0 by 0 form and uh, here now we can directly use the standard limit limit e raised power x minus 1 by x which is 1 so answer here is half for g dash 0 so g actually was differentiable everywhere but only doubtful point was x equal to 0 there we check the differentiality and it is coming out to be half so g is differentiable everywhere so option b is also correct uh, i hope you understood it so option a b and d are correct everything whatever i have explained is here typed also you can go for it so thank you stay tuned for the next question i hope you understood it you liked it